Hello, I'm Brian Datema. I'm Director of Engineering here at McNeil's. And I'm here today to show you a little bit about our command center controls and give you a little walkthrough on, on how they work and some of the benefits of them. Um, so the main screen here, um, we have five different tabs that uh, show different pieces of information. The home screen is this screen here, and it gives most of the important information that the driver would want to know uh, most of the time that they're operating the truck, and especially when they're driving down the road. <coughs> So along the top, we have a, a, a bar full of icons that give status. And uh, we'll start with the, all the way on the left here. This uh, particular button here shows whether the joystick is enabled or not. And currently, it is not enabled, which is why it's red with an X. If we would hit the button to turn on the joystick, it comes green. And you'll see that with all the other icons as well. So the next icon that's currently showing green is the rear pendant on the truck and you now have the ability to turn the rear pendant off. Uh, if we hit the button here, notice that that goes red. And we can turn it right back on if we want to allow the somebody at the back to operate the, the truck from the back. The next icon, <coughs> excuse me, the next icon is the bridge master. It's currently showing that the bridge master is up. Uh, next icon here, the red drum, shows that the drum is in discharge, um, which as we change the drum, as we change the drum from charge to discharge, the, uh, the icon will change from red to green. And you'll also note that the drum speed as well as the direction will change on the drum and show green for charge and red for discharge. The middle icon here shows that the chute is down and centered. If we would lift it up, note the red cross showing that the chute is not down and centered. The next icon is the hopper up and down. So the hopper is down, shows white. If you lift the, the hopper, it goes yellow and shows that the hopper is up with the arrow. And the next icon is the chute lock. And the chute lock is white when it's locked and it goes yellow and shows unlocked when it's unlocked. So the icon over here shows the whether you have the joystick on or the keypad. So the icon over here shows whether it's which one is on, uh, just for a quick glance. As we mentioned, this is the rear pendant. This icon here allows us to turn on the electric fan for the cooler. So if we would have a, a temperature approaching something that we want to turn off, we're in a warmer climate. Um, some customers prefer to turn on the fan so we can turn the fan on. And we'll just leave that on and we'll watch the temperature uh, drop. So the next indication here is the oil temperature so that's your hydraulic oil temperature um, and it will change color as the, the temperature increases giving you a visual indication of where you're at with the, the oil temperature as we showed earlier the drum will show both drum rpm and then direction and here on the side of the, the right side of the display we've got our water add um, revolutions a resettable revolution count which is currently at 38 and a non-resettable which is currently at 365. So that sums up the home tab. If you notice I hit that, uh, we went back to the same screen. We click on the next screen. This is where you have all your auxiliary axles. So on this particular truck we don't have any pushers but the pusher icon up and down would be here. Um, since this is a bridge master, it will be a bridge master up and down if it's equipped with a tag. Uh, the tags would be on this side. And then a uh, new feature that we have on all trucks um, is that we have Bridgemaster Start Stop, which will be the center button. So um, we've also included the Bridgemaster pressure gauge inside the cab on this readout on every truck equipped with the Bridgemaster. So to operate the Bridgemaster, you click down since we're in the upstate. And we hit the green check for yes. And see the bridge master pressure will be changing here as it goes up and down. Um, you'll note that the icon changes from yellow or uh, white to yellow showing that the bridge master is in motion. If we wanted to stop we hit the button and stop and then we can hit start again and it'll resume the same direction it was traveling previously. And once we get through the, the area that we have a proc switch I'll show you how it will make the bridge master go up. So you can see that the bridge master is now down, and if we would want it to return, we can hit yes. And at any point in time through the 
display if you want the bridge master to go up or down you should be able to hit yes assuming that the shoot is in the down and centered position like always and again note the handy bridge master pressure gauge here in the cab of the truck we don't have to run any uh, hydraulic gauges or hydraulic lines into the cab to have a readout for the driver to be able to look while they're driving and so if they were driving down the road and would want to uh, see what the bridge master pressure is doing they can easily hit the button and have it switch screens the next page is a backup for the keypad or the remote um, on the truck shows so our, our icons for uh, load mode which if we would hit that we'll rev up the truck and change the motor or the pump swash plate to achieve whatever RPM you've selected. Currently it's set at 19. The next button you can hit here is our mix mode, which again you can select the number of RPM as well as the number of revolutions you want to go before it goes to our constant speed, which is the next button. And we'll wait here for a second while it goes and does its uh, thing here. It's currently set for only a few revolutions. And you'll see what it does as soon as it hits the revolution count. So we've hit a revolution limit and it automatically goes to constant speed and activates that button. So now we're down between 1 and 2 RPM. Again, this is a selectable between 1 and 3 for the, you, know, you, the customer. And to turn it off, we can just hit the button. Or if we want to turn it back on, uh, we can do that. Another feature that we have with this truck is that uh, we have an automatic constant speed feature which is settable by miles per hour so we can have this button automatically activated at 10 15 20 whatever you as the customer would like the uh, rpm to be selected at to where it would go into automatic constant speed uh, the other thing that we uh, have now as well is that uh, you can if you have the automatic constant speed you can shut it off for a certain amount of time so if you're going up a hill you can just hit the button and have a selectable time where it would shut off automatic constant speed, but then it could return back to automatic constant speed. So if you say you have a hill that will take 10 minutes typically, you can have them do that as a one-time 10-minute delay on the automatic constant speed. The next button here is a drum start stop. So we'll put it in a charge here, uh, discharge I mean, and uh, you just as normal, you hit the start stop, the stop sign will come up saying that we're stopped on the drum. Do start stop again, it'll return right to the back to the same RPM. So we can do just like we did before. You can, you can click and hold or uh, anything else. Um, this display in particular works best with with chart. Or I mean, with uh, individual touches. Uh, we have a keypad down here that will uh, driver will typically use as well. Uh, but this is a backup, so in case something would happen to one of the, the buttons. Or the or remote throttles, you can you can deal with that. Next page here is, is our slump gauge. So this is a. Uh, uh, here we'll go back. Turn this back down. So the next page is our slump gauge, and what this is is a pressure transducer that shows what the slump is on the back of the truck. So you can have either. Uh, gauge like you, you did in the past, or you can have a, a Bridge Master slump gauge readout in the cab. Um, so you, you can preset what your slumps are on this gauge just like you would a, a normal gauge, but it gives a digital readout and it gives um, this is what the slump is currently set at. Uh, we all know that 255 psi does not equal 7.7 .7 inches of slump, but uh, that's what it's currently set at and it can be changed by the customer. Uh, another thing that we can do is an add water feature. So if we would select, um, we want, uh, this is a all optional equipment, but if we would want 13 gallons of water, we go and select 13 gallons of water, hit the button, and it will automatically add that water. We don't currently have any water on the truck, so it's not doing that, um, but uh, it, will, it can go and do that for you. The last page here is our lights. So depending on what types of lights you have set up, um, you can turn on the work lights or uh, if you have work lights and you want to be able to turn those work lights on in reverse, we've got that handy feature. So the driver can turn them on, turn them off as needed. Um, so some of the other features that we've learned from our customers that they want through the years. So in general, that's the display. Um, one other thing that you can do to get uh, to some customer custom options is if you hit one of the icons up here, 
it goes to a screen here that gives some information about what software is loaded on the truck um, and it gives you a couple other options so um, this button here will bring you back to the home screen um, this here will let you log in so there's different login codes to do different things and then there's a, a settings here so you can you can change the brightness of the screen audio level etc and then uh, languages uh, we've got some languages there but in general if you would log into this screen um, type of your login information they'll give you a bunch of different options uh, up here to, that you as a customer can go and choose and be able to customize your truck the way you want it okay so here's our uh, in cab uh, pendant with the uh, optional uh, throttle the optional joystick. So the icons that we have across the top here, this first one is the load mode. Again, that's settable for how many RPM you want the drum to spin. The mixed mode, which is settable by the customer to be able to pick how many RPM they want it to run, as well as how many revolutions they want it to, to turn. And then our constant speed. The next row of icons uh, starts with the shoot lock which shoot lock shows green when it's unlocked, or green when it's locked, and red when it's unlocked. So the shoot up shows green when it's activating. And you've got the charge hopper up and down, so green when it's down, red when it's up. Uh, two options on here, so this sh shoot left and shoot right uh, aren't currently equipped on this piece of equipment. But uh, the sh shoot lock, or I mean the shoot, main shoot down, uh, there again showing the green light when you're activating it. So when you have drum start stop, showing the red LED when it's stopped, charge, showing green when you're moving it into charge, and, and discharge. So again, you'll show, the LED will show you what state it's in. So as you're in discharge or in charge, and you're moving in the other direction, hitting the other button, it'll stay green as long as it's in charge or discharge until it switches states and switches to the other icon. And then the, the joystick here is uh, pretty typical. So we would do forward for charge and, and it's got a, a nice detent in the middle so that you know that you're stopped and then back for discharge, just like our old joysticks were. All right, we're here at the back of the truck now and we're gonna look at the rear pendant. Uh, a new feature on this uh, rear pendant here is the Bridgemaster Star Stop that I mentioned earlier. So this allows any uh, person at the back of the truck to be able to stop the Bridgemaster from moving if it's if something's going on or it needs to be stopped to pre prevent an accident. So it can be stopped from back here and it needs to be re um, or it needs to be hit and then turned off from the back of the truck before the operator in the truck can actually restart the Bridgemaster in motion. Um, as always, uh, we have our speed up and slow down for the engine so this would be the chassis chassis speed down chassis speed up and this is the rest of these buttons are really the same as what's in the cab so you've got the shoot or the charge hopper up and down we've got the main shoot up and the shoot lock and unlock and those would show the icon same as what we saw inside the cab um, the sh shoot left and shoot right as well as the, the main shoot down drum start stop drum charge and drum di discharge as well. So as you can see with this whole system, there's a lot of different things that we have that allow our customers to be able to customize the truck for their needs, for their operations. Um, we've had a lot of new functionality with the, the load mode, the mix mode, the Bridgemaster stop on the rear of the truck to help in enhance our, our customers' experience as well as some of the automated features like the automated constant speed. Uh, some of the things that our customers have been asking us for. So it's really a, a great step forward and we are happy to show you the, our, our new controls. Thanks and have a great day.